Hello and welcome to the May-June edition of Our Kitchens. I'm Leanne Cordisco, chef owner of Christine's Gourmet Toffee, and today we are using the holy trinity of Wisconsin spring ingredients, morel mushrooms, ramps, and asparagus. We're gonna turn these ingredients into a morel fondue, so grab your ABBA and let's get started with the mushrooms. What I've got here is about half a pound of finely diced morels. And we're going to saute these until they're brown. Now, when you're working with morels, there are two important things that you need to remember. Number one, they've gotta be clean, clean, clean. And number two, they have to be dry, dry, dry. To clean them, I put them in a sink full of water and cut them in half. Let me show you what they look like inside. And then I cut them in half to get rid of any dirt or debris or little, any little critters that might be inside there. That's a fairly clean one. When you have them in the water, make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies, make sure all the dirt is gone. If you see a mushroom that's got a little blemish on it, like this guy, chances are somebody might be living in him. And in this case, we're nice and clean inside, but this is the, the part that you'd want to have uh, rinsed out. So. Once they're cleaned, make sure they're dry. Drain them, pat them dry on a paper towel, and I put mine in the refrigerator for about an hour so that excess moisture is wicked away. That'll make sure that we can brown these guys when we saute them. That's what we're going to do next. So to brown these mushrooms, I've got a saute pan that's heating and it's got some butter in it and a little bit of olive oil. I like those two mixed together because it's going to allow me to have a higher smoking point, which is going to allow the mushrooms to brown a little bit better for us. Now, I am going to season this oil and butter with ramps. And this is what a ramp looks like over here. It's basically a cross between garlic and onion. It's a wild garlic that, that grows here in Wisconsin. And we are going to separate the leaves from the stems. And I am going to fry these leaves until they're nice and crispy and we'll use them as a garnish. The stems I'm going to chop up and we'll use those later in the recipe. The butter and olive oil has now heated up to the point where it's bubbling, so I know it's hot enough for me to saute these ramp leaves, and in they go. As long as they're dry, they shouldn't splatter too much. Just lay them down into the pan, and we're going to saute them. Don't, uh, you don't have to touch them or flip them or anything like that. Saute them for about a minute until they turn dark green. When they're dark green, they're going to be crispy, and they'll be done. It's fun to watch them as they cook because they'll blow up like little pillows here. And that's uh, the water inside the ramp is turning to steam and it's expanding. And that's why you see that little pillow action there. You can turn them over if you want. Sort of like green bacon. You can really smell that onion and garlic coming out now. These guys are just about finished. You can see how it's turning that dark forest green that I mentioned. Let's pull them out of the oil. Oops. And we're going to let them drain. And put them off to the side. And we'll use these as garnish later. Now, we're going to add the mushrooms into our rampy oniony oil and let those brown. This will take about five minutes. While our mushrooms are browning, let's talk about alternatives to using fresh morels because you're not going to be able to get them all year round. You can also use dried ones and I've got some here. You can see it's nothing more than a dried mushroom. Now for us to use them, we have to reconstitute them. And that's gonna happen by taking about a cup and a half of dry white wine, covering the mushrooms uh, with the wine, putting it in the microwave for about a minute, a minute and a half on high, and then letting it sit for about an hour. And what happens when you do that is the mushrooms reconstitute, get nice and soft. And it also does a really nice job at flavoring the wine. 
So now that our mushrooms are browned, we're going to add our ramp stems. Now you saw me use the leaves before. Now I took the stems and I cut them up into, tiny, into a tiny little dice as well. I'm gonna add that to the pan. I'm gonna let that cook for about 30 seconds to a minute just so we get some color on the ramps themselves. Now I don't want that to burn, so it's now time to deglaze this with some white wine. So what I've got here is some cornstarch. I want to take about one teaspoon of cornstarch, put it in a glass, add a little bit of white wine to it, and make a slurry, which is just the white wine and cornstarch mix. This is going to help bind the um, fondue together so that we have a very nice consistency at the end of it. I've got this white wine in here from those dried morels that we reconstituted. Seems a shame to waste that. It might get a little flare. No, nope, not much. Now that the morels and the ramps are cooking away, we've got the wine in there, it's time to add the cheese. It's not fondue without cheese. Here is one pound of shredded Swiss cheese. I shredded it before. And we're simply gonna add it to our pan slowly and let it melt. Do this a little bit at a time. And if you're going to stir it, stir it gently. And when you see it start to melt, add some more. You can also add the wine slurry. And that's melting nicely. I'll add another handful. I've got the heat turned down here so that we don't separate the cheese. If it looks a little dry to you, you can always add a little bit more wine. Since this is looking a little thick to me, I am going to add a little bit more wine. Um, I think that's because I didn't drain the wine out of those reconstituted morels. So in that goes. So our cheese fondue is 95% finished now. I just want to add a little lemon to it just to brighten up the flavor a little bit. So a little bit of lemon juice. I'm, I'm squeezing the lemon into my hand and then letting the lemon juice fall out from between my fingers. That's going to prevent any of the lemon pits from getting into the fondue. So our cheese fondue is done. It was just that easy. It's now time to enjoy it with a third of our fabulous spring ingredients, the asparagus. You can see here, I've got some asparagus that I've already blanched, which is I've put it into um, boiling water for about 10 seconds and then pulled it out and ran it under cold water just to make it nice and green, soften it up a little bit. So let's get our fondue into the pan. It's got a great consistency. It smells terrific. It's cheesy, smells a little woody from the, the wonderful mushrooms that are in there. This is a dish you're gonna wanna try with your family and your friends. You can make this with fresh mushrooms right now. You can make it with dried mushrooms any time of year. Just play a little bit. Fondue isn't something that's cast in stone. You can do your own interpretation of it. And this is a Wisconsin interpretation. So thank you for watching. I'm Leanne Cordisco. I'll see you next time in our kitchens.